What's up everybody? Welcome to the Overstimulation Station. Today we're going to be looking at the 10 most disliked videos on YouTube in 2019. We're going to examine what exactly they are and why they are so hated. So without further ado, here we go. So you got this video of this Brazilian kid named Arion Felix, and he got a silver play button, which is something you only get when you surpass 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And then this little edgelord proceeds to cut the button in half. I don't know what he's saying at any point because the entire video is in Portuguese, but if I were to guess, it'd probably be something like durr, durr, urr. This dude is like the Brazilian Logan Paul, with the main attraction of his channel being hot chicks stripping off their clothes. Even though the YouTube button video has 2.5 million downvotes, good old Arion Felix seems to be doing just fine with 5.3 million subs. So as long as he never procreates, everything should be just fine. This is a music video by the artist BBH, whom I've never heard of. Uh, the name of this song is How It Is Wop Bop. Well, from the title, already I hate it, but I guess I have to listen to this to complete this video. The music for this song sounds like it came straight out of an eHarmony commercial. What the hell is this generic crap, and how does it have so many views? This makes the music that they play at Walgreens seem edgy, and it's got one of those awful non-word choruses. This, this is just horrendous. Let's see what else this person does. Hallo meine Lieben und willkommen zu meinem neuen Video. Ich freue mich, dass ihr eingeschaltet habt. No, she's German. I love Germany. Ich hatte ein Video über deutsches Lebensmittel gemacht. I kind of have a little bit of a German fetish. So now I'm totally into this chick, but I still hate this song. But I also don't understand, with all the terrible music out there, why did this one get so much extra hate? I'm so disappointed in myself that I ruined our relationship. This video reminds me that I am 30 years old and no longer in touch with the youth of America. Or I'm not gay. I'm not sure which one it is, but... There's some fashionista makeup guru named James Charles who pissed off his mentor, a woman named Tati, by selling vitamins at the same time she was trying to sell her brand of vitamins. And as if those first world problems weren't enough, Charles was then accused of sexual misconduct, so he made an apology video that was later taken down. Apparently it was so unpopular that it made it to number 8 on this list. I don't know these people, and there's not really anything for me to comment on here, other than the fact that I can't get over how little I care about this entire situation. The video has since been removed from YouTube, and apparently this dude has lost oodles and oodles of subscribers, whatever. Ah yes, the classic. Rebecca Black's Friday music video was the most talked about musical blunder of 2011. From the cartoonishly amateur lyrics, to Rebecca Black's ear grating singing, to the comically bad music video this song demanded to be made fun of. It's one thing for a kid to put together their own pet project and just show it to their friends. But Rebecca Black was trying to make a legitimate go of it in the music industry, and this was the product that she was trying to sell to people. It wasn't a troll, it wasn't a joke. She was being dead serious. Nowadays, Rebecca Black owns the fact that Friday is a terrible song, and you know what? Good for her. She made a career out of a situation that would have caused many other people to have a mental breakdown, quite frankly. She's even on tour right now, but if you think I'm going to give any of her other music the time of day, yeah, no, you'd be sadly mistaken.
Back in 2016, the latest installment of the Call of Duty series was revealed on YouTube, and boy, people were not happy with the direction this popular series had taken. At that time, the Call of Duty series was straying more and more from its roots as a realistic tactical shooter to a more arcade-like experience, with the game taking place in outer space and implementing even more mechanization. When I think about it, it doesn't really surprise me all that much that a video about a video game would make it in the top 10 most disliked videos. People forget how popular video gaming is on YouTube, and this is one of the most popular video games of all time. I've never played this game, but I'm sure it's not that bad. It was apparently just too big of a departure from the original series. Okay, yes, this song has 4 million downvotes, but with over 6 billion views and 33 million upvotes, I'd say this video is doing pretty goddamn good, all things considering. I'm not mad at this song, there are much worse songs out there, there's a huge Latin music listening audience in the world, and this song was a big crossover hit, later being remixed with Justin Bieber doing lead vocals. The downvotes were just a product of this song's success. Hey, yo, what's fucking good? One million dislikes! Can we smash it? One million dislikes, or I'll drown myself. Internet provocateur PewDiePie released a video back in late 2016 as a sort of YouTube algorithm experiment. He tried to see if his video could get one million downvotes. He also did a video seeing if he could get 1 million upvotes. Although the downvote video is couched with funny gags, I'm sure PewDiePie, aka Felix Kelchberg, was definitely analyzing his analytics to see if there was any truth to his premise that getting more downvotes are actually better for the YouTube algorithms than getting more upvotes. I can certainly buy into this theory on some level because I have a video that has surpassed 100,000 views and it definitely has more downvotes than up. I think it boils down to the fact that if enough people hate a video, that video will go viral in the same way as if enough people like a video. Usually downvoted videos are controversial, hence people wanting to seek out the video and see for themselves. Oh yeah, we're definitely in the weeds now. The nut that was supposed to hit the floor somehow found its way to a vagina and made Jake Paul. Who is Jake Paul? It's best that you not know. Much like Rebecca Black, he's cringy and awful, yet there is an arrogance and a certainty in this little bastard that makes him appeal to 10-year-olds with low self-esteem. This is the guy kids think they want to be, but when Jake Paul's fan base eventually grows up, they will see him for the clown that he is. And I'm not hating, I'm just factually stating that neither this guy nor his brother Logan will have a shelf life greater than a few more years. Yeah, whatever, everybody knows this song and has heard it at least a couple times, and hating on Justin Bieber is just boring at this point. Yes, he's a disposable, shallow pop star whose peak of fame is already on the decline, but much like the boy bands a decade before, there will always be diehard Justin Bieber fans, or else this video wouldn't be sitting at 2 billion views. This song is about 6 months away from being 10 years old, and has definitely entered the pop irony stage. You know when you're at a party and you ironically put on a bad song, but secretly everyone kind of likes it? Yeah, that's about where this song is at in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. It's rewind time. And the most downvoted, disliked video on YouTube is a video created by YouTube. How appropriate. The YouTube rewind videos are supposed to be a summation of all the popular videos and personalities on the platform at that time. 
The past YouTube Rewind videos have been fairly popular, but in 2018 that would all change. This video was hated for various reasons, mainly because it felt like a big audience pandering YouTube circle jerk. The video was also trying so hard to show just how inclusive it was by squeezing in every ethnicity, language, and culture into an 8 minute video and it still felt too long. YouTube is a huge corporation which is trying to compete with the likes of Netflix and other cable services, so the image they want to present now is safe, family friendly, and watered down, and that's exactly what this video did. They didn't even feature their most popular star, PewDiePie, because he doesn't fit the image that YouTube is trying to brand itself as. I personally felt a great deal of cringe watching this video and felt beaten over the head with its desperation to show just how inclusive of a platform it is. Welcome to 2019 everybody. Aside from all that though, anybody who watches my channel knows I'm a grumpy old fuck who likes to complain a lot, so I probably wouldn't have liked any of these Disney Channel-esque YouTube Rewind videos anyway. Well, this video was legitimately painful for me to make. I had to watch some very cringy videos, some very lackluster videos, and just a bunch of shit that I never wanted in my head that I now know exists. I hope you got some entertainment out of this experience, however, and if you'd like to repay me in some small way, consider subscribing to my channel and give some of my other videos a watch. I'm Josh Cannon. Have a good rest of your night.